were interrogated and arrested by immigration officials after they dared to inquire as to where they were being uh, asked, oh, I'm sorry, as to why they were being asked to uh, such pointless and evasive questions. Basically, they were asking, you could um, run off time now, go through this. Right there, there's the article, infowars.com. Okay, Google that. And that just goes on. Well, in Baltimore the other day, a couple, you could host this on infowars.com, or you could actually Google this. Baltimore police arrested a couple, man and woman, uh, Laura Brooks and Joshua Kelly, for ask, um, it was um, some diaper bag officer named Natalie Preston. She's a police officer for Baltimore. And Natalie Preston, you're a diaper bag. I mean, I think she was uh, had her time of the month. Okay, the, um, you can watch the videos on Infowars.com also. And it just, the local news covered it because it was disgusting what they did. Total breach of constitution, total breach of rights. Okay, the couple coming from the uh, Baltimore Orioles game. Okay, they're excited to be the first time, first time going to the stadium, watching the game live. They were asked the office of directions. She 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 shot them. Oh, you because uh, she said they went to her stop sign. They were like, "All right, I'm sorry." And she goes, "Well, you know, you got in here by yourself. You can get out by yourself." So they seen another officer. They flagged the officer down, and um, the officer they asked the officer, "Oh, um, you know, we need directions out of here." And right away. Uh, Natalie Preston comes flying over. Oh, you can't ask questions. You can't ask my officer questions. I said no. I didn't give you. My officer's not going to do it. It's right in the news report. And she's like, oh, you're you going to. Oh, man. She, this girl really ticks me off. I mean, I, I, I want to get on the phone with this girl. I'm trying to locate what division she's in. And I'm going to get on the phone with her and I'm going to confront this woman. She's an abuse to the uniform, a six year veteran in the uh, uh, Baltimore Police Department. And um, the sheep, the, so they persuade on, they were told to get out of there, so they pulled over, put their four-ways on, and she gets on the phone with her father, the, uh, Laura Brooks, to ask for directions, um, I need help, whatever. Yeah, she, here comes Natalie Preston, officer Natalie Preston, pulls um, uh, Joshua out of the car, arrests him, and uh, Laura said, I can't stay here by myself, so she comes over the side of the car, well, you're coming with me too, sweetheart. They were both arrested and held overnight for asking directions because Natalie Preston had PMS, okay? And I hope you can hear that. Anybody from Baltimore Police, okay, that knows Natalie Preston, okay, you tell her she's a tyrant, okay, and she is not God, okay? This pisses me off these officers, okay? I got friends and family officers, they're great people, but they're, these people like this, Natalie Preston, are a disgrace to the uniform. And, um, you know... Oh, you should be locked up for criminal activity for abusing power. And the United Kingdom police, they want to sedate uh, suspects now. And uh, the, poli the police want uh, power to uh, order dangerous suspects to be injected with a sedative. A sedative, whatever. And um, it's going through uh, the proper channels now. They want to basically, if they think, okay, it doesn't have to be or confirm if they think you're a dangerous criminal or whatever, they're gonna come and inject you with a sedative. And they also call, they had, uh, I think it was 10,000 watt fit tasers, they're calling for 50,000 watt tasers now. And for uh, the 10,000 ain't enough. And uh, last year, 2009, um, 70, the use of tasers with police went up 74%. 74%. I mean, I, I reported stories all the time about police tasering people. A poor retarded child, you know, who had autism, whatever. You know, that poor kid was shocked, you know, because they couldn't handle a kid. A high school kid. Two police officers tased him. I mean, it's just get, it's, it gets disgusting. It is, it, I mean, it's... We got about four minutes left, and um, people, uh, you know, it's supposed to be a half-hour show, so we're going to 15 minutes here, but um, people, like, yeah, it's... It's an ongoing police state, okay? And you got these group criminal thugs in that police department who say, I am God. You look at my badge because I am God. You're going to obey me. Because if you don't obey me, little son of a bitch, I'm going to take my nightstick and crack you upside the skull with it. Okay, you will learn who we are. You will learn to obey the New World Order. Okay? They're conditioning people on a mass scale. They're teaching the kids with video games all the time of this huge police state about martial law. 
about the cashless society with the RFID implant. And um, this stuff is all over the place. It's getting implemented by the day. Why America's sleeping. They're pushing the biometrics bill to uh, Schumer and Graham. Um, um, Sh uh, McCain and Liberman pushing these uh, belligerent acts to and uh, taking your, they want to take your uh, vitamin supplements away. The FDA is aiming out to uh, abolish private farms, abolish private property by the, uh, I'm sorry, abolish private farms, abolish organic foods. And um, the, uh, the um, same thing with the World Health Organization. The United Nations about to abolish your private property under the cap and trade tax. They put they know they can't do it constitutionally, so what they're gonna do is they're gonna put a huge stranglehold on you and squeeze you and squeeze you until you submit and until you say, Oh, I'm gonna I don't know I don't own property no more. I don't want that American dream. I'm gonna submit to the new world order. I'm just gonna lay down and take it. Oh, because these people have are so sadistic, okay? These people are so evil, okay, these bunch of corrupt thugs. Okay, you got uh Obama, Barry Satoro there, this is the real name, uh, Gordon Brown, uh, all these people calling for a new world order. They want to end uh, families, C uh, CPS, the Child Protective Service, every day breaking up families. I mean, the two things that piss me off most is police state and especially the abuse of children. You know, and by the day, thousands if not millions of kids are going hungry, they're disappearing being raped, kidnapped, on the black market, controlled by the United States government. N groups like NAMBLA, the North American Man Boys Love Association, controlled by the United States government. You know, and the United States government is running dra drug trafficking rings. You know, they fl on the C-130s, they fly drugs in all the time. The only time you hear of a drug cartel being caught is the ones who don't pay tribute to the boss Tony. You know what I'm saying? Those, it's a whole mafia scandal going on, okay? If you don't pay your tribute, okay, you get caught. Of course, they catch all these small timers. And there's honest cops out there really trying to take drugs off the street. But you get the group of elite criminal thugs out there who who want um, to, you know, get a cut. Oh, I'm going to get a cut off this. Oh, I'm killing that kid. Ooh, yeah. Give him some more. Give him some more Vikings. Give him some more cocaine. I'm going to rob that little bastard until he dies. Then I'm going to get his brother because I'm going to seduce him too. You know, they. this is what's going on out there, people. They're providing drugs for your kids, okay? The, the Child Protective Services, they're having their way with the kids, okay? They take kids and they abuse them, but, you know, especially orphans. They sexually abuse these kids, put them out in the black market for groups like Nambla. And it's just totally ridiculous and disgusting. And and again, um, you know, we're, gonna, we're out of time. So thank you for uh, watching Truth Video. And also listen to our show. My local listeners are on www.truthradio.cc. And again, my name is Dan Bedanti, the Truth Warrior. And tune in next week. And I will get you some more uh, updates. And um, again, people, all it takes is the power of resistance. The power to say no, Okay. Again, we're not promoting a violent revolution. We're promoting a peaceful information revolution. Okay? Get informed and get off your butts. Okay? Get informed. Get out there. Get active. Inform people. Get out right to your legislators, your uh, congressmen, your senators, your mayors, your governors. Right to the uh, Barry Satoro himself, uh, a.k.a. Barack Obama. Okay? Say you know you are not going to submit to global governance. You are not going to submit to the biometrics ID, the real ID. You're not going to submit to any of that. Because we are a free people here, people. And I'm sick and tired of laying down to big government. I'm sick and tired of laying down to the New World Order. And I'm sick and tired of laying down to the whole United Nations global agendas, the uh, Millennium Goals by 2015. And if nothing's done soon, people, the faith of humanity is gone. The United States is the last hope of... Uh, that's why everybody's trying to come here. Because the United States of America is the last hope of humanity. And um, no, the only light out of this is accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior. And um, again, John three sixteen, you know, you know, Jesus is the only way to heaven. And thank you for joining us, and God bless.